It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I was in buying some Sainsbury's craft beers that have launched recently. Went down the food aisle, found something to review in the food aisle. These are the Jolly Hog Outdoor Bread Proper Porker Six British Pork Sausages. Now these guys look like they know how to make a sausage. They really do. I'm really looking forward to getting getting these reviewed. So without further ado, they won a great taste award in 2020. I mean, some of you might be thinking, well, it's only a, a pork sausage, but for me, it looks like a, a posh pork sausage. Growing up in South Wales, my mum used to go to the butchers and the butcher's sausage back then, locally, it was still just the rough cuts of meat that you would use in the sausage. And it was always kind of nasty, fatty lumps in sausages back in the day. But, I mean, for the last 10 or so years, it, it, it's been about proper posh sausage. It's not just a, a thing that you slapped together with with waste meat they're actually using proper meats now and that looks you know that proper prime cuts of pork then on that sausage so without further ado i'm going to get it in the grill give it a review and i'll be back when they're done okay it's time to get these jolly hog or this jolly hog sausage out the grill There's a look at it. What can we do? We chuck it on the plate for now. And um, what are we looking for? Bread roll. Already buttered uh, bread roll. There's a look at the sausage. Again, posh sausage, so you're not going to see much shrinkage at all. A nice crispy skin on it browned up nicely in the grill. I'm a grill man, always grill a sausage. Some people choose to shallow fry them in a, in a frying pan. Another thing to do, another great thing to do, is if you're gonna put them in the oven, put all six in the oven, if you're gonna make like a family meal, and put the oven chips in with them. So all the fat from the sausages mixes in with the oven chips and yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Right. Without further ado, outdoor bread, proper pork, British sausages. Let's let's get a bite of this. Oh yeah. Mmm. Tasty. The steam coming off that, and and just showing you the inside, the the middle of the sausage. Doesn't that look lovely? Kind of prime cuts of meat in there. You can see there's little bits of herbs and spices as well. The little kind of greeny bits going on, but that looks absolutely fantastic and it tastes absolutely fantastic Woo! Oh. so herbs and spices really good cuts of meat Lovely crispy skin to the sausage when you kind of crunch through it. I can imagine why and how they've won a great taste of war. This is a good sausage. Mmm. Whoo! Hot. Tell you what I'm really enjoying about the sausage. 
is the juiciness. It gives a little squirt of fat flavour. Fat equals flavour. There's no... I was in a, a bar in Brussels, in Belgium, when I was doing kind of brewery tours in Belgium and stuff, and I was with an American blogger. And um, they brought out this Michelin star thing, a uh, meal, and it was like pork knuckle or something, and it was like covered in fat, and he was tucking into it, and, and he looked over to me, and I was just kind of like playing with it a little bit, and... I just had the mashed potato on the side and the peas. And he said, hey, you know, in his American accent, uh, what's the matter with your, your, your meat? And I was like, uh, ah, there's no meat there. I said, um, it's more or less all fat. I said, I, I can't eat that. And he said, and it stuck with me, this. It stuck with me. He said, hey, fat equals flavour. I was like, right, okay. Um, I'll take that on, but I'm not going to eat it. I'm not going to eat a, a, a knuckly fatty thing on my plate I kind of like refuse to do that and um, it's just not in my it's not in my remit um, some of you are probably just pointing to this sausage and going hey you know there's all sorts of cuts of, of meat going in here probably bits of pork knuckle and all sorts that you don't even know about you don't even know you're eating it but you know it's in a sausage so I don't really care um, so that stuck with me so going back to the sausage and when you bite into the sausage you get like a a, a, a juicy fat intake in, in the inside of your mouth and it's really flavoursome it's a really really flavoursome taste and flavour mmm and you can see look you can see it let's get it to focus you can see look at the juiciness going on in there look at that juicy whoa that's a proper juicy sausage and I think the key for me with this sauce is I put it on low, like low and slow in the grill, so it's not like psh, exploding everywhere. That's something you learn as well when you get a bit older. I used to absolutely torture my sausages in the grill. Full blast. They were more or less black. And all the fat had evaporated, it was all gone, it was all burnt up in the grill. Low and slow these days, leave all that fat in the sausage. Really tasty. There's the doorbell. There's a quick delivery from uh, Mr. Postman delivering some badger beers. There we go. Got some beer to drink after the sausage. Right, okay, it's time to make the sausage. I've talked long enough about this. Our story, three brothers, no porkies. Once upon a time, there were three jolly butchers, uh, brothers, a rugby player, a ship broker, and a cabinet maker. The three brothers loved eating meat, especially pork. They decided to create their own porky delights, which one day would become the best and most delicious in the whole land. And boom, the jolly hog was born. We're really proud of the sausages we have created. It's been a jolly journey, mate. Uh, from making them in Ollie's kitchen to having them in the supermarket shelves. We believe the secret to our juicy and flavoursome sausages is using only British pork that is outbrought door bread and from RSPCA assured farms. We hope you love them as much as we do. They're blooming good. Um, pork content on these sausages are or is 84%. So pretty good then. The rest is kind of spices and flavours and everything else. So, right, Jim. Then we can go and have a beer. <laughs> it's a really good sausage. It's a really good sausage. The key, the key, the absolute key, without a shadow of a doubt, is that juiciness. Juicy pork banger. Juicy fatty sausage and the, the, the skins really help to keep the fat in and it's all kind of wonderfully tasting. It's a top quality sausage. I like it enough to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. 
please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily video and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!